Oh, hey there, I found it here and I'm back with another video. In the last video I made a tutorial on how to make a basic stage and a basic camera just so that we can actually see the stage. In this video I'm going to go through how to actually make uh, a character. In this example I'm going to be using Fox from Smash Bros who's also in Rivals of Aether. I'll be providing all the links and files in the description down below. So without holding up the video any longer, let's get straight into this. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is make a kinematic body 2D. So we go to 2D scene and then we change this type to a kinematic body 2D. From here we're going to now add a animated sprite node. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us in this section over here to add all the sprites for our character that we've added to our game. So in this case we're going to be using the fox character which should be in the description down below. So once you've downloaded that folder, drag it into your file system in Godot. It might take a while. And you'll see uh, fox, that's what it should say. What we're going to want to do is make a new folder and call this characters and then drag the fox inside of that inside this folder or fox you're going to see a lot of various uh, images and scripts and stuff all of this is taken from rivals of aether and this is what i use as my template to give me some sort of idea on how to program and animate the character Whilst we're at, we might as well go ahead and save this as a scene. So we're going to do Control S, and it's going to ask us where to save this and what to call the scene. So we can go to Characters with Fox and just name this Fox.tscn. There you go. So now our scene is saved, just in case uh, you know Godot crashes or anything, which it rarely does. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to add an example of a sprite. This is how we're going to animate our sprites. So what we're going to do is we're going to name this sprite, I'm going to call this idle. This will be the idle animation. So over here, we're going to go to where it says add frames from a sprite sheet. So we're going to navigate from here, go to characters, fox, go to sprites, and we're going to choose the idle strip. You can just press I and it will default to that. Now for me, this is already set up because I had to practice this for the video, but for you, you might say something like 8.8, eight, right? What you need to do is change this from 8.8 eight or whatever it is to 10.1. The reason being is because there are 10 images or 10 frames horizontally. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whereas there's only one vertical row of sprites. So once you've done that, you do select all and then you do add 10 frames and there you go. You now have the sprite for Fox. Now, just as a quick note, for some of you guys, if you're not using this fox sprite, or if you are using the fox sprite and you don't like the way it looks, if you zoom in, you might notice that the sprite is a bit blurry. The way you can fix this is by going into characters, box, go to sprites, and highlight every single sprite that's there. Then go to import and change this preset to 2D pixel. What this will do is it will re-import all of the images used. And now as you can see, everything looks way better and the Fox character now looks way crispier. Now to actually animate this uh, sprite sheet, this character, you have to go back to scene and add a new node. And we're going to add the animation player. This should go under the animated sprite, just to make it very clear. So in the animated sprite, you have idle and then you have the, the sprites. And then under the animated sprites, you have the animation player. And this is what's going to be used to animate the Fox character. Now, to actually create an animation for this character, what we're going to need to do is go to animation, then go to new. And this is going to be the new name of the animation. 
So I'm going to call this idle since this is the idle animation that we're going to be animating. We want to be using the frames per second because we are going to be animating this in 60 frames per second since that's what fighting games use. We're going to put 60 down here to say that this is a 60 frame per second uh, animation. And over here it should also say 60. For me it already says that but for you it might not. Now there are different types of animation when it comes to fighting games. You have some animations that loop and you have some animations that just end once they're done. Because this is an idle animation, we are going to put this on loop. So to loop, we need to press this button. Now to animate the fox character, what we need to do is go to the animated sprite node, go to animations and press this little key next to idle for the animation. You can create a reset track if you want, I'm going to. Now what should this should indicate is that when you are now standing still, because we're going to code this later, but when you're standing still, this is going to be the current animation that you're going to be on. Now I've actually gone through and analyzed the frame data for all of Fox's animations. So I actually know how the idle animation is meant to look and how his attacking animation is meant to look. So for me, I can just copy what I've previously done when it comes to the frame data for his animations. But if you're following along with the Fox character that I'm using, I'll show you what it is. So to actually animate the character frame by frame, what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of the timeline and go to frame. Click on this key with the plus symbol and it should add the first frame. So the first frame is the first frame for Fox. And this is basically how you animate the, the frames for the characters. For this idle animation, Fox's third frame would be his next frame, if that makes sense. So then you go to one and you press add. Then his next frame is at frame nine. So you go to frame nine, then you press two, and then you press add. And then you basically continue. So I'm going to finish off the rest of this. So once you've done all of that, this is what the animation should look like. That's it. That's pretty much it when it comes to animating. So I'm basically going to redo this over and over and over and over again for all the other animation. As an example of an animation that doesn't repeat when it comes to the end of this animation, I will animate this bear uh, strip. So like an attack, for example. So to do this, go to animated sprite, click on this plus sign, and since this is the bear attack, I'll just be bear. And it's the same process, so you go over there, and then you look for the bear sprite sheet. Now because this one has four images, you want to separate this out in a 4 by one ratio. So it should look something like this, you select all the sprites add four frames and now you have all these uh, sprites here so now what you want to do is you want to add a new animation we're going to call this bear I like to do it in cap to make it easier myself go back to the animator sprites click on animation down here and you want to add the bear animation this time you can make a reset track if you want it doesn't really matter and it's the same process. Just to note, you want to make the FPS 60 over here. Make sure it's 60 up here as well. And you want to add the, the sprites at the right time. Oh, just as a quick clarification, this doesn't actually have to be 60. This is just how long the animation is going to be. So actually for this animation, it's only 18 frames. So now I can just put the, the, the sprites at the right location. So as you can see, I've just completed it. The first frame goes in frame zero, then frame three, then frame eight, and the last one goes on frame 18. And it should look as such. It doesn't repeat because this animation doesn't repeat, but from here you can continue to animate the character of your choosing. So I've gone ahead and I've added each and every sprite to the animated sprite node. If you check the description down below, 
I'll be providing a document for the frame date of each animation. So once you're done with this process, you can then go on and animate each of these sprites in the animation player. Well, that'll be it for this video. Don't forget to check out the description because in the description, I'm gonna have all the information that you need for the name of the animations to add to the animation sprite node. Then for the animation player, I will have all the information you need to figure out whether or not an animation needs to be repeated, the name of the animation, the frame data of the animation, and the name of the animation itself. So don't forget to check out the description. I'll have that link there with like a documentation. And in the next video, we're gonna learn how to go through scripting the character that we've just animated so that we can get Fox actually moving on the stage that we made in the last episode. So without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Good talk, good talk.